Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics. Uh, quick tip! So, yes, last episode um, we learned to adore our, uh, our corridors, how to form them, uh, some rules of placements, how to arrange your hospital, and how to keep them wide enough for people to pass through. Uh, I've taken our tumble map that we started on here and uh, built it out to its uh, logical conclusions. This is applying the rules of my last one. This is what I came up with. Uh, now I um, I did this just more for structure. I did not. I, I did w go out and build out the rooms properly. Um, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't pre-build the hospital to quite this extent before unpausing because it's still January first of the first year. And yeah, there's no need to build all the clinics and all the other things. But I did that anyway just so you could see the the hospital take shape and get on to our next topic, which is. What do we put inside our corridors? We've got our corridors lined up nicely, um, but how do we build them out? Well, we have to consider a few things. Um, we need to consider mostly, well, first off, let's talk about reception. Um, now, the more I've been experimenting with it, the more I like the plain reception desk for your reception needs in the long run. Um, so that's uh, that that's that's going to be put to use um, uh, is our reception desk here. Uh, there is the reception room, and I do have a whole video on on building those out. But at least in this particular layout, there's a really a good a good place for it. Um, we can get away with just the regular desks. Now, where are we going to put this thing? Well, one thing to note, in, from my last video, I said you want your hallways two to three tiles wide. And while two is nice and efficient, you do want some patches with some three tile wide hallways. And that's because of these things, these little standalones, uh, the reception desks, but also things like the newsagent or the gift shop or things like that. Those, those items, those, those items definitely like to be placed in the three tile wide hallways because they essentially take up a, they're, they're essentially like a one by two room. Think of them that way with a, with a side exit. Um, so that in that uh, sense, we want our reception near the front, but up here, this is going to cause, this is going to cause some bottlenecks. Like, yeah, we could, we could smush it up front here, but people go, going through the hallways are going to have all kinds of problems getting around this thing, especially with right there by the bathrooms, a more sensible place to place it. I'd say something like, Oh, say right about here. That way, people coming in through the front, they just have to take a quick right to get to reception. Uh, if people happen to come through this door, they're right there. Um, and you know what? If we wanted to sort of cover our shifts here, we could get a second reception around here. But meh, we can save that for later. Now, one little bit of an adjustment here is um, when, you're, when you're building things out, take note of what's on the opposite side of them. Um, here we have a couple of doors, and this is a GP's office door. Um, when people start queuing for this, especially if you're not building benches. Oh yeah, by the way, see this bench here? This bench never belongs anywhere in any corridor for any hospital ever. Don't use them. If I have not been, if I've not hinted at that in some of my other previous videos, don't use benches ever. Ever. Um... They just cause animations to take longer, take your patients longer to get to their rooms, and don't actually provide any uh, physical benefit. Right then. So you want to be cognizant of where where the doors are in the opposite side of the corridor when you're placing things, because those tend to form lines. So putting our reception desk right here, uh, which might form a little line of its own, uh, right up against the line forming of here, might not be the best idea. So a better, a slightly better place for it would be something like, like right about here or so, like right here. Um, because this is a training room. You're not going to get a line of people lining up for the training room. Uh, so that way you're, it's not going to get in any way. And now we have a nice little space over here. Now, as far as um, uh, placing our items here, you have to be m uh, mindful of a couple of different needs for your people. Now, for the purposes of our of our video here, I'm only going to be dealing in drinks machines and snacks machines. Yes, I know there is a huge plethora of different types of machines. Um, 
uh, available to us. And I will be doing a video on on the the drinks and snack the exact brand of machine that you choose. But that's a whole other topic. Here we're just concerned about physical placement. Um, so when you're placing your things, what you want to do is you don't want them on the same side as the doors uh, for a given hallway. You want them on the opposite side. And just like with our desks right here, you don't want them facing directly across from a door because people lining up for the machine will bump into the people lining up for the room and that will create its own little temporary barrier which slows everybody trying to get through that space down. Um, so what we're going to want to do is you generally want them in pairs. Um, so something like say a snack machine here and Again, not across from here, a drinks machine here. That way when people line up for these machines, they'll be fine. Now, whenever you're placing down a pair of machines, you will want at least one bin. I would spend the kudosh for the big bin. That seems to be the, the sort of the best bang for your buck. Uh, there are other types of bins you can get into, but big bin is probably your best bet. Um, now here, what you want to do is you want to put them in between the machines. These you can put across from the door because they're not as wide. You don't generally have people lining up to use the bin the way you would have people lining up to use the machine, which, which is fine. Um, and then lastly, when you're, when you're placing all this, you're probably going to want some form of entertainment. Um, I usually go with an arcade machine is probably your best bet for entertainment here. Um, entertainment you'll want to, um, I'd say keep a, you know, like right here would be perfect. It's not directly across from the, uh, from the, um, door here, um, but it's close enough to this little complex. So this little quad right here, two machines, um, waste disposal and, um, and a, a entertainment is is a good thing. Now you want uh, the other things that you're going to want here is um, uh, attractiveness uh, items and your temperature fixers. So in this case, this is a cold map. Uh, so we do want our temperature fixers. Now, since this side of the wall is already kind of being monopolized by all of these items here, um, the uh, the better idea, you know, we we can we can squeeze these in between it right here like so so that gets up the com thermal comfort here and then somewhere we can get our plants going uh for our our uh, visual beauty here and we could put one over here and one over here so that's the mainstay of it is is all the wall opposite to the doors is what you want to uh, have occupied with stuff um now, an exception to this is when you have three tile uh, wide hallways, you can you can get a little bit more creative. Um, now, one other thing we can do with our three tile wide hallways here um, is we can put down, say, like a news agent. News agents are great for entertainment. Um, and also not only do they reduce boredom, but they also increase happiness. Um, but again, you'll want a three thing. So something like this would be perfect because it's in, it's in a spot, a three tile wide spot. Um, so it's not going to get in the way of everything. It has side access here. So that would be a fine place for a news agent. Another one, I mean, this whole section right here is nothing but a giant three tile wide hallway. So we can just stick this like right here and it's not going to get in anyone's real way right here. So boom, another news agent. Um, one other thing to note, uh, it's always a good idea to put um, mach uh, vending machines near the bathroom here. That's because when people need to fulfill all of their needs, including the toilet, um, oftentimes they'll, they will run to the toilet and take care of the toilet, but they'll still, you know, be thirsty. They'll still be hungry. Uh, so, um, you know, they'll emerge from the bathrooms and look for something to fulfill that need. Uh, so here you can, you can take care of it by placing it here. And since we've got some extra width here, it's okay that we're placing it on the same side as the door. Um, and heck, we even have a little space for another arcade machine here. Don't be shy about placing them close to, to close together here. Um, and don't be shy about placing them frequently there. They are in the long run of things really cheap. Um, here, I'm okay placing it opposite the door because this is a three tile wide space. We have that extra wiggle room, so you can break the rules a little bit there. 
Um, and then we can get a snack machine right there. Bada boom, bada bang. Um, and then we'll just find, again, every time you place those two, find things for it. So good place for a bin, eh, right about there, looks good. Oh yeah, we need a bin for these guys. Eh, how about right over there? Um, and then use your use your 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 visuals for for determining uh, what temperature fixers you need and where. So that one covers well enough. Yeah, it gets a little a little cool over there, but that should be fine. Um, something like this. We can just place it right to the side there. Boom. Uh, we can place this right to the side here. Boom. Let's take uh, let's take a look at our plants here. Make sure make, we want we want nice full attractiveness here. We can scoot this over to the side here. Scoot this over to the side here. Now this area is a little bit tricky here, so we're gonna we're gonna place it to the side of the door here, like that, just so we can get proper coverage. Um, something like uh, right about here. Same same deal goes here. Um, we can place one over here. Again, we don't want it directly opposite from here, so we'll place it a little offset, like that. And then let's see what else. Where else can we get these? Um, where, where else can we get these? We have a. Uh, we have about seven thousand more bucks left. Uh, again, I've vastly overbuilt this. The other thing you want to see is where are the people going to be waiting? Um, and what's the nearest vending machine? So, like, people are going to be waiting over here, so you, we may want a, a couple of vending machines over on this side. Uh, maybe something like, uh, yeah, maybe something, yeah, way, way down here. Snack machine, drinks machine, it's okay because it's three tile wide. Uh, we can squeeze in that arcade machine right, right over here. Nice little nook for it. And actually, there's a little nook for it on the other side, too. Get our little or arcade corners here. Um, we already have our attractiveness, but we do need bins, big bins. Uh, so we can do something like a, bi a uh, big bin over there. Um, and then over here, we could do, uh, well, we can do something similar. We can uh, say do, uh, do like a big bin like right here. Get our uh, vending machines, snack machines, get our snack on. Since we have a lot of space over here, we can get the snack and drinks machines over here. We already have our bin nearby. Might wouldn't hurt to have a second bin uh, in this case, because they, they could go either direction. Um, and then let's take a look at plants. By the way, yes, there are, you can put, there, there's more, there's more to things than just plants. You can do other decorative items. Some of them might actually be a little bit better because they don't require upkeeps. But in the early game, and this is on a save file that's early, early game, um, plants are probably your most efficient thing outside the rooms. Uh, you don't want to start loading uh, rooms in with plants. That can get a little hectic. Something like that. And then maybe it's something here in the corner. That's uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, so there, there we have our our fully adorned corridors. We've got vending machines. We got we got uh, four sets of vending machines. One thing of uh, actually five sets of vending machines. Um, so people will never be far from a snack or a drink. Uh, one thing is centralized toilets. Oh yeah, one other thing. Uh, placing the entrance uh, to the, your break room near the toilets is a good thing because your staff need to use the bathroom when they take a break most of the time anyway. So there we have it. Now let's take a look at this in action, so, shall we? So as we can see, we've got our hospital. Uh, same layout as before, same adornments as before. Um, just time advanced a little bit, and yeah, people are moving through. Even once we've got our, our hospital up a few levels, and we've got quite a few people uh, making their way through our system, there is no stoppages, no shortages here. Um, because yeah, as you can see, people waiting outside uh, outside of rooms, there's still room for people to get around them if need be. Um, so lines that are outside of uh, specific halls here are not going to disrupt the foot traffic uh, going through. There go. Likewise, people going for uh, different vending machines are not going to get in the way. See how this there's this like little mini line right here. These guys are not getting in anybody else's way. So people who are just passing through can get through without having to take significant detours. I'm just a drop of rocket fuel. 
Um, so that's why you should always be mindful of where the doors are and where your lines are um, when placing your various items. So yeah, as you can see, the hospital's making quite a bit of money. Um, um, our reputation is quite high despite having really, really high prices. Um, and yeah, there's plenty to go around, plenty of space, and I mean, we could probably three-star this whole thing with just this building alone. Um, so I uh, hope you guys found this uh, useful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback, uh, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!